Hey guys, welcome to to season six, episode two of Bones. Here we go. We're totally lost. Fine, oh, Tracy. 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 We're gonna die out here, and they're gonna find our bones one day. And I hate you. You know what? Just follow me, or they will find your bones because I'll kill you. Now come on. Oh my! They're about to find oh, bones. God, it's starting to rain. Look, there's a cave over there. A cave? Look, if you don't like it, then stay out here. Yeah. Why did you even take this woman hiking to begin with? I find it anomalous that you leave her since you believe so emphatically in the mythic powers of love. Do you understand what she's saying? Just not. I'm just, <laughs> just saying that you wanted to fall in love, and you did in Afghanistan. I shook my brother in 04. Mm. I'm a, well, I was a ranger. But you guys were awesome. Yeah. My brother didn't make it bad. Oh. Sorry. We're uh, saying something about a woman left behind? Oh, I didn't leave her behind. It was her decision to stay. Well, maybe you didn't really love her. No, I, I do love her. I do. So is this the cave then? This is it. This one is a male. Late 20s. Yeah, and the other is a female. 30s. This is a female. Same approximate age. It appears they've been bludgeoned. Hmm. It's like you couldn't let her go. It would appear that way. Wouldn't make any comparisons with your current situation. Oh, uh, thanks for that. Thank you. Maggots and other insect activities seem to have cleaned the bodies of tissue. So clearly those two happy couple who were lost there were found. Seems like we were never away from each other, doesn't it? Yeah. I needed some time to rationally assess the best use of my considerable skills. Factoring <laughs> it, I concluded that I could be most useful solving crimes. Right. So you're happy to be working together. That's what I just said. Great. Me too. <laughs> So, do you miss her? Oh my god. Yeah, of course I do. Won't well, stop talking. She do. does not stop talking about her. Oh my god. That's her. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? What the hell? We can talk in a minute. What the heck? I love her. She's great. Hello. I'm Temperance Brennan. I've heard a lot about you, Hannah Burling. I assumed. I was passed over for a promotion in Chicago, and when I heard Dr. Brennan was back, I just jumped at a chance to work here again. That shows excellent judgment. Most of the fractures on the female are localized to the left posterior side. Her face fits comfortably within the golden ratio. So you guys did math together. No, the golden ratio is a formula that determines beauty. One to 1.618. For instance, the width of the mouth to the width of the cheek. So she's hot. <laughs> some uh, particulars here, Dr. Hodges. You assured me that you would try to keep this workplace professional. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. You were. You had such a problem with it. You just weren't having sex. Were you jealous? He's of course not. Always I'm here jealous. when stuff because like this happens. You and Agent Booth were attracted to each other. I mean, a blind man could see that. I just couldn't understand why you two just didn't rip each other's clothes off. I mean, just get all butt naked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, it just popped out, okay? You guys weren't focusing. Dude. Self control. <laughs> How the hell? Did y'all see that? Oh. Angela just vanished from one spot and appeared on the other, like she, like a like she teleported. What the hell? I just wanted to give you a copy of the, uh, the original file. Huh. Why didn't you just call me? Yeah, I could've. When I heard we were both combat vets, I guess I wanted in on a little bit more action than I got in the park. When I'm in the park, you're my guy. Thanks. Thanks for this. I always felt there was something more I could've done for my brother, and maybe he'd still be here. Guess I'm still just trying to do that little something extra as well. Damn. I think always feel that way when we lose someone. See, now I'm sitting here wondering, are they going to do with Booth's girlfriend what they did with the last time Brennan had a boyfriend? Okay, that's gross. And then he just sailed away. 
which was such a weird way to you are not throw him out. But he, he was cool. I liked them. Shooting Paul and I would have been present when they took their last breath. They didn't make me sick today. You know, the only place I'm not nauseous is here, which is weird because <laughs> this place always used to make me sick before. Well, when you feel better, we can take off for our baby moon. <laughs> baby moon? Yeah, you know, last trip before we lose all freedom and become our parents. Which, in your case, is okay, because, you know, your dad is pretty cool. Well, we should go back to Paris. No, but of course, where else? And you get to eat whatever you'd like, because you're gonna look like the Hindenburg anyway. Nice. nice. <laughs> More to love, you know. More to love. The woman is Hillary Fuller. I got a match through the DMV, which led to a missing persons report filed by her boss. But the guy's skull was... Why does she look so familiar? Clooney. Victim's skull was funky, so this was the best that I could do. Yeah, the whole on again, off again thing, it's good. I know, I know, I'm trying to deal with it, but I find that if I consider making a clean break, you know, although it opens up my world sexually, oh, I might lose... You're seriously talking about that now? No. No, of course not. That's good. Good, pal. You're single. Hillary is very attractive. Hey, I came down here to help. Now I'm a suspect. Are right, you so defensive? I'm just asking a question. Look. <laughs> Hillary, she seemed great. Recognize this man? Sure, it's George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> George Clooney? It's not Clooney. It's the other victim. No, I think I think sure this Clooney. man was killed by somebody who was very jealous. I reported her missing, remember? That doesn't mean you didn't kill her. I do. I remember. She is hot. Yes, she's in Afghanistan. The temperature is frequently over 100 degrees. Attractive hot. <laughs> Seems hot, of course. Hey. So Booth seems happy. Catherine Winnick. Yes, he always wanted to find someone to share his life. Queen. So I'm the only one living the life I expected. Well, how's that? Man? <laughs> it's um. It's as I expected. Jam. Whoa. Wow. Is that her? Don't drool, Hodgins. <laughs> no, no, no. Only when I look at you, Angie. <laughs> oh my god. He died two weeks ago on the 13th. I'll tell Dang, this. how did you... That's just incredibly impressive. Only, only, actually. I mean, that's to you. Keep going. Don't stop. Guys, on high. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my unborn child. Love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. So you're sure they died in the 13th? Winston Hinkle. I've seen that guy of before. Mental illness got into a big fight with a camper and ended up beating him to death. He was released two weeks ago. On the 11th, parole officer says he lives right outside of the park. Ooh. <laughs> Potential suspect. Hinkle was diagnosed with bipolar and cyclothymic disorder with episodes of paranoia. Oh, okay. So why would they let him out? <laughs> <laughs> the attending psychiatrist feels that his illness is under control. <laughs> what are you staring at? Don't do that. I just think it's it's interesting that you'd be so self-conscious on the phone. Really interesting. Because I'm having a private conversation in front of someone who's really nosy. <laughs> oh, you could be self-conscious because I know your history with Dr. Brendan. I mean, you know, it's natural to have mixed feelings. Do you want to know what I'm yeah. You really want to know what I'm feeling? Please. Okay, when I left Afghanistan, I was miserable, thinking that I would never see Hannah again. And and why do you think that is? I'm huh? Dr. Phil. <laughs> Dr. Phil. I'm crazy about her. Because my life is just way better when we're together. I believe you. Yeah. You're a lucky man. I know. Now, she got a little shrinky mojo so you can pick up any leftover crazies with you, the doctor. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Yeah, a couple was found dead here in the park two days after you were released. <laughs> He's like, damn it. I don't think he did it. I guess he should have expected this. Expected Wait, expected what? He means he expected to be perceived as the man he was. You recognize these people? Yeah, I'm here. Shucks, there's no in prison. It's not George <laughs> Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> the guy you killed. I don't think he killed anybody. So? I really don't think he did anything. I'm more so leaning to the first guy right now. 
He's too easy of a suspect. Shatter, piercing the heart, lungs, Ew. and kidneys. Well, scapula is also What could you have been hit with, too? His injuries yes, were... sledgehammer? ...in the interior and... And he could have gone for help. The one who was bleeding out. Perhaps he didn't want to So he stayed and held her. And she died in his arms. Uh, we need to discover why the injuries were localized. His in the front, hers in the back. No one would deliver a beating so carefully. I'm not only gifted intellectually and internationally known, but I'm also highly skilled in various methods of self-defense. I like a person who isn't hampered by modesty. <laughs> I have two Peabody's, a National Press Award. I kick Christian on a horse ass. <laughs> we are both quite impressive. <laughs> the Taliban controlled the area, and I was going in to interview one of the leaders. She was told not to go in, but of course, it didn't matter. She goes in. Interview the Taliban? I was going to a cafe, walking across this little town square. Anyway, Celie was there. Oh, wait, there's no way back then. The that wouldn't make sense. Kid, of course. He saved your life. You know, we've been on the field. Let's just leave it that, John. Let's just say I was very appreciative. You're implying that you showed your appreciation sexually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Under a fig tree. I never liked figs. Now, I, I love them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Brennan. I found eggs from the Sternorinca aphidoidea. They were on George Oh, Clooney. what? It's like plantation, this guy. Okay, Hodgins, the eggs, they come from chickens or... Yeah, I just told you. Aphids. So I hatched the eggs and it turns out aphids are wingless. This is fascinating. Who's that? <laughs> Hannah. Oh, and I just read the piece where you stuck it to Sencom in 2009. Thanks. Hey, maybe when you're here, you can find out why every time there's a big story, I mean like an earthquake, government corruption, there's always some celebrity story that takes focus. You know, I'm just BP oil spill. Lindsay Lohan goes to jail. Hodgins. Media is used to distract us all the time. Michael <laughs> Jackson's funeral is on 24 hours a day, and nobody finds out about the coup in Honduras. I love this woman. <laughs> we were talking about Willis aphids, Dr. Hodgins. We were? Right, yes, no, we were. So, Willis aphids, they couldn't have existed where we found the it's remains. It's losing his mind. I found some cabins in the park that hikers used to rest. Oh! It's been there. George Clooney had been up there. I feel like she's hiding no, her true. actual feelings Apparently behind this interested Sorry, smile. One Couples have been known to use the shelter for the occasional romantic interlude. Like a fig tree. Beg your pardon? <laughs> Nothing. I, I like figs. Look at this. This is fresh. 9-13. Day they died. H.F. Hillary Fuller. Oh. Yeah, who's that fee? There you go. Frank. Frank. That's the best F name I can think of. Probably Guatemala based on the oxygen ratios. Uh oh, never mind. The tissue I collected from his hands shows a high level of nicotine. nicotine. Oh, he had green tobacco sins. Why can't I think of it? Why would she be romantically involved with Hispanic. Him? See if the victims share any additional genetic or environmental markers. What the hell? I can't think of a name. For the power of love is admirable, Booth, but an affair between these two is an anthropological anomaly. Yeah, I mean, crossing class boundaries that extreme would be rare and indicate that our victims have something in common we haven't discovered yet. So it's not okay. possible for two people to overcome their differences. We couldn't. What? She's right. This is not about us. Sometimes when I was away, I would imagine us together. Really? Well, pleasant. It was clearly a fantasy. Because we are also anonymous. I figure since Hannah is now a part of your life, why don't you just focus on what I think you're showing compatible? Both victims exhibit low bone mass and suppressed bone formation. They were alcoholics. Oh, that's the connection. Ah! She had been drinking for at least two years. So they're, um, they're, uh... They found that they were also returning to normal. So he had also stopped drinking. But according to the figures, only the last year. Hey, hey. Uh-huh. I already, I already solved that. <laughs> I ain't talking to no cop. Don't be such an asshat, Hank. I'm a Mary. What happened? She false wedding? No, but she is dead. <laughs> we believe murdered. God, God. Brennan, Jesus. He's into that one. 
She fell off the wagon? Right. No, but she yeah. is dead. <laughs> he killed her? He seems so nice in the movies. No, this is the other victim who was found with Hillary. His initials are FB. FB. Oh, Felix! Felix? Yeah. They were found in Taylor National Park in a cave. Makes sense. Why's that? <laughs> Well, if Hillary was sponsoring someone, she would take him in the woods. But I haven't let it been in years. I do miss the coffee here, though. That's not were necessarily Hillary true, now, is it? romantically involved? They just kind of clicked. Andy was having some trouble at home. Guess his girlfriend was getting jealous because Hillary was helping Felix stay sober. Oh. Uh, and they were falling in love. He's a girlfriend. I guess his girlfriend couldn't handle it. That's life, right? Oh, that's Isn't motive. He might have been a teacher in Guatemala, but what here the hell? <laughs> She's in the Fosters. <laughs> Suspect. Now screw you, man. You're screw me? Yeah, screw you. I don't seem too upset to find out that he's dead. Damn. You live with a drunk, you expect them to die. I guess I was ready. Right, so. Hey. You weren't mean anymore. Once he got sober. Why aren't you reporting this? Because I just thought he'd run off with that bitch. So you followed him to the woods. Just to make sure what is this woman's problem? You him to the woods. <laughs> oh my. You and Brennan, you two seem solid. Well, after this after, you know, working together for what, five years. You know, I'm a little jealous, actually. Well, you actually think that there's something going on between you? Me and Bones? No, not that. Uh, I think I'm the only one in the press corps who refuses to write a story from press releases. You're gonna make trouble while you're here, aren't you? As much as possible. These are the tires from Lupe Rojas's car. Ooh. She denies going to the park, but Luke doesn't believe her. And if she's lying, the tread should contain insect and plant matter that could place her there. Exactly. Facts. You know, you could be my lovely assistant. Yes, but since I'm your boss, you're my lovely assistant. <laughs> wow. Yeah, right. Well, at least I'm lovely. You've been looking at them as if both victims were attacked and beaten. Yes. Of course. Wasn't that your supposition? Yes. But was it yours? Because an assistant who doesn't think for himself has no value to me. Okay, but I thought that... No, you didn't. That's the point. Perhaps this is the reason that you didn't get your promotion in Chicago. Dr. Brennan. If you hope to redeem yourself in my eyes, you will look at these remains and tell me exactly what it is you missed. What I'm the hell? I this is about more than a mistake by an assistant. Why would you think that? Do you know what she's talking about? Or? Yes. But I prefer to focus on my own families at this moment. Someone's altered your relationship with Felix, Dr. Brennan. Do you mean Hannah? Yes. Whether or not you're happy for him, you have to have feelings about it. And I can't. It's a human thing. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Dr. Edison, but sometimes our personal lives directly affect our work. No, no. I see what Dr. Brennan means. These two people weren't beaten at all. You see, this is about nothing more than Dr. Edison's incompetence. <laughs> Very kind. <laughs> But if they weren't beaten, why did Dr. Hodgins find traces of sedimentary rock in their wounds? Because they fell on rocks. And she broke his fall, which is why his injuries weren't as severe. Very good. You see, I was merely helping Dr. Edison to be a better scientist. Oh, you weren't. <laughs> I apologize, Dr. Brennan. Accept it. Those people in Chicago were foolish to lose you, Dr. Edison. Thank you. <laughs> it's actually quite amusing to think that Hannah could ever affect my work. So I input all of the injuries and breaks it's that were found on the work. You can see but that whatever. there were mirror fractures on their chest. Wait. I used topographical over So are we saying they were pushed? The rocks that would match their injuries. So this section of the rocks here is the section that matches their injuries. It's about 250 feet from the cave. Ow. That would have hurt. No, it was a suicide thing. No, no, there was no no. So there wouldn't be a lot of people up there? No one would see if someone pushed the couple off the cliff? I'm not. I guess not. How experienced do you need to be to go up there? You found evidence uh, in their tire treads that she was up here. Yeah, but wouldn't she have... Mm. I don't think she fully pushed him though. I'm not convinced in that aspect. I, I feel like she might have been working with somebody, but I don't. Uh... You ready? All ready. 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 Ready.
close. Are you gonna make her get allergies? <laughs> decomposed or eaten by parasites, except that this area around his eye and cheek. The flesh is desiccated and... This tissue from around his eye contains capsaicin. Pepper spray? Yes, but at a very high concentration, government issue. The scavengers wouldn't touch it. Wait a second. Forest Services issues a highly concentrated spray to park rangers who encounter bears or other aggressive animals. Uh... Oh my god. Felix is right actually a little closer. The minor he bought liquor for was your niece. She drank too much and got into a car accident. And she died. Oh Not my right god. Oh my god. Her sister in law spent her enough. She lost her brother in Afghanistan and then her daughter. Not now she's about to lose you. was killing those two people. Collateral damage, it happens. It isn't war, Gary. He killed Sarah. She never had a chance to turn her life around. What the hell? The spray and push them off the cliff. You did the right thing. For Sarah and my brother. Nobody's ever gonna tell me I didn't do the right thing. <sighs> Oh, it's best to go with somebody above. No, but he didn't have to go. He could have walked farther and gotten help. At least one of them would have lived. Well, he couldn't leave her, right? That, that's what love is. <laughs> so you're saying that love is foolish and illogical. No, it's, it's thinking of someone before yourself. It's giving your life, if necessary, to that person. And it's, uh, it's love. And if a person falls out of love and meets someone else, those selfless acts would suddenly appear to be dangerously irresponsible, wouldn't they? No, it was still love. <laughs> well, I could never live like that. Survival is the human imperative. If we don't look out for ourselves, nothing else matters. That's not true. Oh my God. That is not, it's not true. You know that. You're experiencing a rush of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin with Hannah. Those feelings are wonderful. I felt them, but I won't rely on the transient nature of chemicals for my happiness. <laughs> Wow. Hey! Wow. That's a dress. Do you want to go? Oh, no, thanks. I have to catalog all the forensics. Oh, Clark can do it. I don't mind. Have a good night. So, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, one night, you and me. Girls' night out. We'll dish one see you tomorrow. Okay, okay. Smoke the smoke when the smoke inside my head. In all technicality, you dropped the ball. It's your fault. <laughs> Solid episode. I love her. Um, she's been in a lot of things that I've watched. She's, she's made guest appearances in a lot of things that I've watched. Um, Criminal Minds and other shows uh, and she's in one of my top 10 favorite shows of all time so that's just yeah so I know her I love her it's cool that she's now in Bones I don't know how long she's gonna be in Bones because like I've said before that the whole goal here and it's quite obvious it doesn't take a genius to figure that out it's it's Booth and Brennan. Like, I mean, you don't... It, it, they're the... They're going to be together sometime, some way. So... However long this takes, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. It's cool to have her as an addition to the show. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I'll see y'all next time.